morning. We are checking out of our place on Pratnamak, Pratnamak, sorry, five. We're just packing our bags and everything now. Um, still haven't woke up properly. I have. <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> I haven't. Uh, yeah. It's only been a little short stay here, isn't it? A little visit. Yeah. So we haven't really got to see much, and I don't think there is much here to be fair. No, we had a nice walk about, and like, like you'll have seen in the last video, we went down to uh, John Ian Beach. Had a walk, wander down there, which seemed nice, just like Spain. <laughs> yeah, it's very like a Spanish seafront, wasn't it? It's nice. But, um, today we have a little bit of a travel day while we go to our next destination. Which is? Bangkok. Bangkok. Yeah, we've got some unfinished business in Bangkok, so we're gonna go there. We certainly do. Some of the stuff that we tried and failed in our previous videos, we're gonna go and try again. Yeah. This time we shall be victorious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've had a, a couple of a couple of fans visit us as well while we've been here. Yeah, we did. So we'll just give them a little bit of a shout out. Hello to Kelly and hello to Arwen. Thank you so much for the other night. We <laughs> <laughs> had a lovely night, thank you so much. Um, yeah. It was nice to finally meet some people who've watched us from the beginning. Yeah, yeah, they've actually been supporters from the beginning as well, so yeah. it's nice, nice to meet And um, Arwen's a local lad to us, big up the borough. Sure, I went out and bought that. What, three days ago, I had one, one drink out of it. It's all right, come in with us. Take no with us, yeah. That's too hot to touch. So as you can see, it's, uh, it's a little bit quieter than Patia. It's a bit more an expat community here, which is nice. It's a nice little site for friends. The place where we're staying now is the uh, Aloha. It's actually the Sugar Guest House, where it has the Aloha Lounge and Bar below us. So if you Google, like, it's on Gordon and Buchan and stuff, um, Super Guest House, but it's not under the, the brand of Aloha. Um, which is how I found out what the checkout time was. We, did, we didn't book this on a Gordon or anything, did we? I think Kelly sorted it out for us, didn't she? Yeah, she did. Oh, there, there she is there. Kelly! <laughs> no, it's not much, yeah. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna <laughs> uh, so, uh, so we're gonna finish packing up and then we'll uh, take you just over the road and have a look, show you a little look around the around the shop. And I don't know if you've noticed or not. Oh no, 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 no. sorry. Just uh, I showed you up that way, but show you down that way now. You see the sea from here. Sea view, 10 minutes by phone. I suppose I could show you the uh, packing methods that we have all the time. There's any user wondering. So we have two toilet bags there. Uh, but a little backpack here that we carry on. And the uh, airplane with all the electrics and the battery stuff. Laptops, power banks, uh, not power banks, hard drives. There's three big hard drives in there. Uh, Boxel wires and plugs. Yeah, two laptops, Bluetooth speakers. This is a carry-on bag as well for the, uh, the airport. Well, it's got, got old passports in it. And travel plugs. Two power banks. For uh, solar panel ones as well, so we can. Try and be a bit green. Put the stickers on the back. Yeah, what else we got there? Glasses. Through the camera. This is the one without the mod on, so we take this when we go underwater. And, like that. And, and in the back. Because some places still need them. Mask collection. Oh, yeah, really, isn't it? We've got a bag for clothes. I'll be putting that one as clothes and uh, dirty washing. We keep separate in the bag there. 
this other bag of toilet bees. There we are, so I'll keep separate. And uh, that's about it, really. Uh, and Sharon's bag, the light one. Full of clothes, electricals, shoes, things like hair dryer, iron, straighteners. Um, all of our shoes, extra clothes, whatever I can fit in there, hotel power, and then like the majority of the shoes because we have quite a lot of flip flops and stuff and trainers. Wait, come on, let's get packed up, please. Yeah. And we need more coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Ta-da! 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 <laughs> lovely, lovely stuff. So this is it, this is open. Yeah, it's good. Ooh. Nice. There's Kelly. Let's go over there and have a look. So, this is Kelly. Kelly and Martin have this shop. I'll show you now. Uh, how long have you had this shop for? We've been open for two weeks. Two weeks, still new. Yeah. What made you want to come out here and well, it wasn't the plan initially, because obviously we arrived in April, Martin had a job in Bangkok, and then obviously they decriminalised or took it off the narcotics list and put it on the um, herbal list. So obviously there's been a big boom now, and we just thought we might as well get in on the ground up, and just took a leap of faith and thought, I was well. <laughs> we can beat the <laughs> And we just thought, F it, we're going to open a week to give time. How's it going? Do you know what? It's actually going really, really well. We've only been open two weeks, but I'm, put it this way, I'm happy so far. So we've got some really good regulars. We're in a really good area. So we've got a nice mix of tourists and locals as well. So that's a good business for us. So if you're in Pattaya, this is Pratam Nak. Yeah, Pratam Nak. Pratam Nak, soy five. So get yourself down if you like a little bit of a smoke or even if you just want to chill out and a drink because you sell drinks as well, don't that, you? That is the nice thing about our place is because we didn't just want it to be a weed cafe, we want non-smokers to be able to come in and be comfortable. You know, we've got good music, we're going to end up having a couple of like, maybe little live bands every now and then, a bit of karaoke, even though Martin says no, but I say yes to karaoke. So yeah, so it's a, basically, if, if, whether you smoke weed, or not, but what we've found is we've got a lot of customers who either don't smoke weed but either have health issues and they're coming in because obviously we do all the edibles and the brownies and the gummies and honey and other things, you know, they're saying oh, my back's hurting. And do you do just the CBD, is the CBD oil? We do the THC and the CBD oil as well. I've heard a lot of people try the CBD to help them out with joint yes. pains and stuff. So. I, I would honestly say that probably a good 30% of our new customers, that's what they're looking for. They're not looking to come and smoke joints. They get higher. And get higher. Yeah. And, yeah, it's more for medicinal purposes. So there you go, any aches and pains. If you don't want to smoke, if you don't smoke, then you can have it in an oil or in honey or in a brownie. Each place. So we'll take you on a little tour. I'm just going to intervene in a second because uh, last night I was in here having a Leo and I overheard somebody talking about lollipops. Oh yes, yeah, so our manufacturer of all our edibles is testing out all different new products, uh, lollipops, all different kinds of candies, basically you name it, he's trying to make weed out of it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> So these are a couple of our regulars, but unfortunately they're going home today. Sad faces all around. <laughs> this is Holly. I'm Holly. From California originally. <laughs> originally, but I'm confused now. It's the blonde hair. I never know where I live. <laughs> 71 going on 30. That's it. Forever and ever and ever. Yeah. <laughs> 
No more shots, please. <laughs> I think half of our videos have just got Sharon's bum walking on the street. So this is still one of the rooms that is just going to start getting done the next couple of days. This is going to be more like a man cave. Chill out, so... Chill out, cushions. So once people get too stoned, they actually can't get up and leave, so that's hopefully going to be a bonus. PlayStation, proper little boys room this. TVs, PlayStations, all that business. That's our room upstairs, but we won't go in there because it's an absolute tip. <laughs> but, but this is be... high, this is the... It's Such a big building. Trying to get this painted is an absolute nightmare, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so this will be the Airbnb room. Come on in, Holly's... This is Holly's room for now. Oh, this is nice, isn't it? It's a lovely sized room, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. It's absolutely massive. And it's got that lovely ceiling as well. Yeah. yeah. That, that sort of wooden theme all the way through the building. Um, obviously, there's a few finishing touches, but I wanted it ready for Holly arriving. But for instance, obviously, I'm going to have like we themed bedding, a couple of little weed type scenarios. But up here is where there's going to be some fake grass, fake weed plants. And where those two spots are, you can get the little, what look like little mini grow lights. So I'm going to make it look like it's a little fake, little, um, little grow up there. <laughs> but this, I would have loved this room for us. Yeah. So obviously it's got the balcony, but it's, uh, it's just too noisy for me. We'll have a look at that balcony and the view mm. of the wires. <laughs> the wires of Thailand. But if you're a nosy type of person like me, this is the perfect spot to people watch. Yeah, Holly literally sits up here for hours yeah. and I get all the gods. I've, I've seen her sitting here now and again. Oh yeah, because that was your room just over there, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. And that's what we've been doing, coming out the and people watching. But I do love this room, I think it's a great room. And once, it, like I say, it's had all its little finishing touches. And it's going to be a great room, I think people are going to really like coming to stay here. Yeah, so this is going to be an Airbnb room, eventually. Um, Once we get rid of Holly, I'm only joking, Holly. <laughs> <laughs> it's only because Holly decided to visit for one month, but as everybody does when they come to Thailand, she's not going home. So yeah. <laughs> we're going to start her extension out, but yeah, then I can finish this room properly and get it rented out. But I think people are going to really like it. There's not many places where you can stay above an actual weed shop, yeah. so... So if anybody is in the area, so I know we have a lot of Thailand people who watch it, a lot of expats as well, then if you have never been to this area, if you're always staying in Johnny M or the main city, come out, come and have a, a drink and a smoke or just a drink and a chat. There is one thing I do really like about this street because I think in Pattaya there's loads of different sort of pockets of, there's obviously the dark side down on Walking Street. You've got the really sort of high-end area where the Sky Gallery is. Our street here seems to be a really nice mix of all of it. Do you know what I mean? All, all on one little street. So it's a nice community as well. I've noticed that. Really when nice. When you stay here a few days, I've noticed that like everyone knows everybody yeah. and will help everybody out. Oh yeah, we picked the perfect place. His neighbours are amazing. Couldn't have been any more helpful and welcoming. So yeah, yeah. Get yourself to La Chosa. There you go. So get yourself to La Chosa. Thank you so much, Kelly. Oh, you're all right, babe. Thank you. It's nice to see you again, as always. <laughs> yeah, it's lovely to do, we'll even. Mm. <laughs> right, I'll check you see it. Yep, that's fine. Right. Bye. Bye, happy trails. <laughs> see you later, mate. Take it easy, JP. See, see you guys later. See you, darling. See you later. Yeah. Mm. Oh. See you later, babe. See you later. Like, oh, thank you so much, Sam. I'll let you know Right. See you later.
Yeah, yeah. That wasn't too bad, was it? About an hour and a half, something like that? No traffic in there, yeah. I think this is like the back entrance to E, isn't it? Find it. Yeah, we're staying at a condo and it's, uh, we've got a set of instructions on what to do, but we still don't know what we're doing. Oh, pool. Got pool. You have to find your little slot, then find your little key box, type in a 67, type in a 67 digit number that they give you and you take out the two keys. One is for the elevator and one is for the room. Closing elevator is going up. Instructions it says make sure you bring your own toothbrush and tooth. Hand <laughs> wash, um, towels, maybe somewhere. More towels on the bed. Some little hair slips. Nice. Safe, coat hangers, torch. Random socket up on the roof. Mm. <laughs> Single beds, fan pan, hob, sink, kettle, fridge, microwave. <laughs> 